<sighs> I'm just going to say this. Fishing in BFLs is hard. What's going on, guys? We are back, and we are at Lake Hartwell. It is stop number two for the Savannah River BFL Division Series. So, little practice update. Um, we came out here last week. It's all a few beds. It's all a few beds. There weren't really, there was males on them. The females hadn't pulled up yet. The water temperature's like 61, 62, and some parts at 63, and way back to the creeks. So, um, as y'all noticed, or saw from last year, that um, I suck at bed fishing. Like, I suck big time. Like, I couldn't even catch one. And today, I found like four or five more beds. So, and they had, a couple of them had two doubles on it, and then there was a few that were just males, but they were pretty good sized males. So, um, yeah. I suck at bed fishing, but we're gonna go bed fishing tomorrow. Hopefully this wind that's supposed to come in tomorrow won't affect that too much, but we are gonna try. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do. <clears throat> I'm gonna stick to your normal white bait and pegged weight, Texas rig. So uh, we'll see if that gets the job done. Um, but you know, if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, we're sitting 92nd or 93rd in points. Uh, we gotta, we gotta do. We have a strong finish this tournament, at least save the season in order to qualify for Smith Lake. So, because that's the goal. We want to qualify for Smith Lake. So, but with that being said, I gotta rig up. Um, definitely gotta rig up a bed fishing bait. Um, so, if y'all have any tips on bed fishing, or if anyone sees this and wants to take me bed fishing. We can go in my boat. I mean, I'll, I'll pay for gas. I mean, whatever. <laughs> I need to, uh, springtime. I definitely need practice. But with like I said, with that being said, I'm tired. I gotta rig up. So I think we're gonna start all tournaments this year out in the parking lot. Seems kind of fit. Maybe I don't know. Anywho, I'm gonna pick up the camera tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we will see y'all in the morning for stop number two. This is Lake Hartwell. We'll see ya. Hook that one. I threw like four or five on the grass right here. On my I said, I 
as soon as you hook that one, I see like four or five on the grass right here. He didn't feel like this one, and then he decided to fire. I figured he wasn't even 12 inches, about a pound and a half.
more. Thing come off. Come on, troll the motor. Got him. Yeah. 
All right, we gotta go. I think it'd be enough for mine. Three? Yes, sir. Those Randy, he's got the great tackle store right up the road. Our staff is today picked up the stuff. He's got a five by seven today coming in. How are you, 52? Good, how about you? Wilson. Yes, sir. You want to off five of them? Oh, I would like to. <laughs> You shall pass, sir. You shall pass. Nice. Good job. Thank you. Tyler Wilson, Brooklyn, Georgia Motor. Bring us a limit. Motor with a limit that's going to go. Nine pounds and nine ounces, nine nine. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. Oh, all right guys well we made it back home and um well i really don't know what to say you know i thought i had a decent bag for the what the conditions were but i guess you know um the hot wheel fishery is a lot better than i thought so but we ended up 91st out of like 160 which ain't good it's a little over halfway we gained like 11 spots and the points so we're sitting 83rd um did most of my damage on spinner bait and uh you know i guess i made some bad decisions and because in, in practice i caught a couple good ones off of lay downs on, on that same spinner bait but uh you know, I just, I just didn't fish a lot of laydowns a day. So, um, I tried to make something happen late in the afternoon, but, you know, we got cut short today. Um, instead of three o'clock weigh in, like normal, it was a one o'clock weigh in because of dangerous winds. And, uh, I mean, almost didn't make it back in time because I pulled up to one spot where we caught them this morning. And then like two casts, I had two bites. And I cold, and then I didn't have enough time, but they, I left them, and they were still biting. And I'm pretty sure there was a bigger one there, maybe. I don't know. But I had five fish for just uh, just over nine and a half pounds. And, yeah. We go back to Hartwell in two weeks. So, hopefully they'll be done spawning, or a full-on spawn, or... Maybe a shad spawn will be going on. I don't know. Uh, but I spent way too much time trying to fish for a bed fish. That probably wouldn't have helped me, but maybe a half a pound. Um, I just don't know no better. Because, you know, I'm not used to fishing beds. Guys, if you have any tips for bed fishing, you know, just kind of how like last year. Um, I suck at bed fishing. And, yeah. So, I don't know. If anybody wants to go bed fishing or teach me how to bed fish, we can go in my boot. I'll pay for gas. Y'all just take me. Show me what the deal is because I don't know. Like, I do the white. I do the natural colors. I just don't know. So, but we're home. I'm going to probably strip some line off. 
and uh, get ready for the next one. We're going to Ufala next week, so uh, completely different fishery. But with that being said, guys, this was stop number two for Lake Hartwell, and uh, we're going back in two weeks, so maybe we can pull off something different. We'll be in a different part of the lake. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. Thank you all for watching, and uh, sorry I didn't do better, but we'll see you at the next one. Thanks. Thanks.